All right, so I'm gonna give you this picture. It's at houseoftutorials.net slash Z flea market. Now I try to avoid giving out images, pictures, objects, or anything ever, uh, because of the simple fact that it is one of those things that if you at one time stumble across this video and the video references something that doesn't, isn't there, it's really annoying to go hunting that picture down. So it's going to be here, houseoftutorials.net slash Z flea market, and that is a capital Z, and this is zoomed in so you can see it. This has been around for, oh, probably about uh, three, four years now that I've had it. So it's not going away anytime soon. And I gave you the image that was just the unedited version all I did was copy and paste the one with arm and no arm in there. I would love to be able to shoot, let's say if I had 20 students, 20 different variations of this type of thing, a uh, little small character. Um, I have a whole bunch of these little models. We can't sell the video game, obviously. We're not gonna do that anyway because this is for educational use. So therefore the copyright and it's a picture. So it's not like, we're taking the actual model and scanning the model in or anything like that. So that being said, that's my little disclaimer. There's the picture. Have fun with that. And let's go on with the tutorial. So in Photoshop, the first thing that you should know that this is an unbalanced picture. In other words, I had to take this picture without a flash because if you take it with a flash, what will happen is uh, the flash will earmark um, the white spots on the character and I do not want that I want a very universal shaded character so that way if he rotates in you know the or lurps now we're gonna call it lurp and if he lurps in the one uh, side to the other he doesn't have any distinguishing characters that it's going to give him away so let's white balance him and that happens under image adjustment levels so open this up in Photoshop, that's your stage one. I don't want to address it, but sometimes you have that student, they're like, what do I do? So image adjustment levels, open it up in Photoshop, and this is what we're going to have to do. There is these three mythical uh, droppers. Well, the mythical droppers are actually uh, the ability to use the auto function, and what we have to do is white balance this. So what we're going to do is set a black point. Well, black point is anything that is perfectly black within the scene. Okay, there's my black point. My gray point, where is that at? Well, I need a 18% oh, gray within here. So an 18% gray. Well, I don't really know. I don't have a meter. There is a program called Lightroom that makes this oh so amazingly easy, but I'm going to just randomly pick, a pick an 18%, which is about right here on the gun or right here on the arm okay and then we send a white point which we really don't have a whole lot of white points we have blue at this point okay so there's no white now that doesn't mean I can't ramp this up just a little bit And to help it along just a little bit further in its exploitation of an actual white balance picture. Also, I'm going to stay away from very harsh shadows. Like, this would be bad. This would be bad. But I want to be able to see the detail in all the little cracks and crevices. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. So if I pan around, I'm going to see this. Another thing I want to do is take and sharpen this picture up a little bit, but I also want to kind of play around with the whole um, exposure ratio. So the exposure ratio, I'm going to take and see if I can play around with the exposure to knock out some of this background. Good. 
So that's a good way to knock out all the yellowing in the background. All right, another thing I want to do is to be able to take and knock out the background completely. And to do that, I'm going to click a new layer and then go in here and unlock this one and hit OK by double clicking it and put this one on top. So that allows me to do, let's see, a selection by Magic Wand if I want to be cheap about it. Okay, so there's one way to do it. And then if you hold Shift, you can get access to all the pixels. And then you can hit Delete on the keyboard. There we go. Very quick, very simple way of doing it. But you have to do it after you expose it well before it works. All right, so I'm going to break this into a couple different videos. I'm not sure what time it is, but I can quickly get wrapped up into Photoshop pretty quick because it's one of those fun programs. And let's go on to the next video.